So this is called a double escapement action, developed probably just a little over, whatever, 150 years ago, I guess. And it allows for the transfer of this energy from the keystroke uh, to come through this device called a whippin or a, or a repetition and, uh, and allow for that energy to be transferred from that into this little knuckle that throws the hammer up towards the strings. It gives you fast repetition and all of a sudden you can play soft and you can play loud and you can play quickly and it, all of a sudden the music changes. So what's changed in, since this was invented? Has this been improved, or is this was it pretty much perfect? Well, they, they started with um, they started with different kinds of, um, of mechanisms, and, and many manufacturers would have their own style, styles and designs. So the the actual um, action components um, had sort of changed. There were some uh, shanks that had little catch levers on them, and other other um, weapons were, were were sort of you know um, smaller and or cut in half, and there were different sliding actions to stop the motion and so forth. So there was lots of different evolutions of of piano design. But uh, back about 130 years ago or so, uh, the double escapement action uh, was uh, was invented, and that that started that sort of changed the game. So that allowed people to to play very quickly and, uh, and, um, and, and very softly and, 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 and quite loudly. Uh, and, um, and it, was, uh, it great, gave much greater um, uh, ability to the player. So that kind of was, at that point, that sort of was the game changer in, in the keyboard world and the piano world. And, and we're still using it today. And they haven't really changed. Yeah, I mean, there are slight modifications, but the double escapement action is still the, uh, still the, the go-to model. For, oh. for design for a, for a piano action. So they got it right About 100, 150 yeah. years ago. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So. Thank you.